Here's a look at 20 recently released tweaks you may have missed. Key swipe is a tweak that allows you to swipe up or down on the keyboard to switch between your enabled keyboard. So I'm switching between the emoji and the English keyboard just with a swipe. Pretty cool. Next is front cam unmirror. You know how the front facing camera mirrors your image? Well, you can unmirror the image just by tapping this little button in the upper left hand corner, just like that. Next is swipe to delete. You can swipe on albums in your photos app to delete. Easy peasy. Next is song count. It places your number of songs at the bottom of the My Music tab in the Stock Music app. Now here's a tweak I really like, hide badge text. You see the badges here, the notification badges? Obviously I have notifications for those apps, but it doesn't contain any text show, showing me how many notifications I have, which I kind of like that, it's minimal. Fast Centers is a free tweak that gives you quick animations, actually no animations, for the dismissal of Control Center Notification Center. Syria is a tweak that does this. Define Cydia package activator. Yes. So, pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Next is Browsix. This is really cool. So I'm gonna tap a link in my email and it opens up a new window with a web browser that you can scroll around, you can maximize it, you can open links, you can open the link in Safari if you want to, but that's really cool. So you can go anywhere on your iPhone and still have your browser with you wherever you go. And yeah, that's Browsix, $2.99 available right now on City. I really like this tweak. Awesome. Next is no trending. Now, you know, when you search in the app store and you get all those trends, all the trending searches, well, you can remove those with no trending. Handy if you want to clean things up. Next is no now playing status bar. And it is a tweak that removes the status bar from the now playing interface on the stock music app. Next up is Roman Passcode, free tweak. It, well, I don't know what I, was, what I was expecting, but it does exactly what its name says, gives you Roman numerals on the passcode uh, screen when you unlock your device. Now, Floater is a tweak that changes the icons, makes them look like they're floating because they're cell shaded. And not only that, it does a whole bunch of other things related to floating and just overall look and feel of uh, things or interface on iOS. So you, you see a floating notification center there. You see a floating control center. See how it's kind of floating in midair. So that's that. Now dark CC is a tweak that gives you a dark tint on your control center. I really like this tweak. It's free too. Next up is VLOX light. Now VLOX is a well-known tweak. VLOX Lite is the light version of the tweak that gives you sort of these app folders for notifications and things of that nature. Um, the light version's extremely light, so your mileage may vary a little bit with this, but keep that in mind. There's a full version out there as well if you want to try that out. Next up is Gauss 2, or Gauss, Gauss 2, Gauss 2, I think. All right, so this allows you to do all sorts of customizations to the music app from a visual perspective. You can change the tint and various other things. You see right here, some of the changes are applied. I have the blue tint, have a little black background blur and things like that on the music. So it looks good. Smart source prompt is a really good tweak. Like if you copy a repo URL and you go into add a new repo, it automatically will paste that repo in there for you so you can quickly add your source and get going. Now, City of Ratings is an awesome tweak. It basically brings a App Store inspired ratings interface to City. So you get stars, you get actual written reviews and things like that. So now you can kind of keep up to date with what's good and what isn't in City. Really awesome. Proximity Activator lets you launch Activator Actions via the proximity sensor. So you just wave your hand in front of there. I could, for instance, take screenshots. Any banner allows you to have animated banners. You can have a different animation speed. You can change the corner radius. It has a little pulsating animation like that. Just something kind of cosmetic looks cool. I like it. And finally, text search lets you highlight text in search via action menu or flip switch. You can search Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. So ladies and gentlemen, that is an overview of 20 tweets that you may have missed. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with IDB.